Hey fuckers, uh, I want to talk about Mechanist today. I was pleasantly surprised yesterday when I tried out the sword on Mechanist, and uh, I it was an utter complete difference from the beta, where the beta, it felt like they just took Hollowsmith Sword and put it on the other classes, right? And so Hollowsmith Sword um, is really, you know, based off of, you know, having a certain amount of heat, right? So you want to maintain high amounts of heat there, and you, you can see, I mean, you're getting big damage increases um, depending on how much heat you have, you know, and uh, I was really worried about that. I think it was that way in the beta too. From when I played with it, it just felt like they took that over, and because of that, it wasn't as useful because of the, you know, you don't generate heat on mech. So I was really, really uh, worried about that, and then I I found out yesterday that that's not the case, you know. So it's it's uh, they actually balanced it a little differently. I'm um, around not having heat, right? So if I look at Sun Edge here, 966 damage on mech. Where if I go on Hollow Smith, uh, the base damage is 885. Now obviously we have that damage increase, but that shows that they did actually balance it a little differently, um, based off of you know you not using Hollow Smith and not having access to that heat generation. So I thought that was really cool when I saw that. Really exciting. So a uh, sword is actually fucking solid. I did some damage testing, and on the first attempt I got like 33k average, which for me is solid considering that. You know, I don't typically follow, you know, these really in-depth rotations. Um, I kind of just, I have a priority of buttons that I press, but I just kind of press the buttons, you know. I'm not following, I just hate that. I hate following the specific rotation of shit to press. It just, I'm looking at my skill bar constantly when I'm doing that, and I just hate it. So I'm kind of just pressing buttons. I do have a priority, of course. Um, but, you know, as far as that goes, like, I'm usually not popping these insane numbers like people usually get. Uh, and that works perfectly fine for me, by the way. I, I, I out DPS the majority of people in, like, the groups that I get usually, so it's not really that big of a deal. People really suck at this game. They're really fucking bad. Um, but, uh, yeah. Uh, so I, you know, uh, I was, like I said, I was really surprised to see Sword is actually good. And it feels great because I have three options now for weapons that I want to use. And, of course, we have Sword, we have Mace, and we have Hammer. And that just feels fucking great. Now, I'm sure the most optimal one to go with is Hammer, right? But for variety's sake, you know, because I'm not always going to want to use the same weapon. That was a huge issue I had on the Engineer before, um, was that I only really liked using Mace. Like, I didn't really enjoy any of the other weapons until the rifle rework, and I, I love what they did with the rifle. But that's a ranged weapon, and I don't all... I like melee. That's the way I like playing, so um, it just felt kind of, you know, weird having that. So I was really excited um, to, to see that, you know, I have a lot of options now, which just feels fucking great. And uh, I actually kind of, I think they're adding the short bow, right, onto the engineer. Um, and I'm really hoping that's sort of like a ballista kind of inspired thing. Although I think that would be, you know, a long bow if they were doing that. But maybe you'll shoot grenades out of it or some shit or, I don't know, they're going to they're gonna make it engineer uh, theme though, you know. Alright, so let's go ahead and get into the build now. So I have all Berserker's gear with Scholar Runes. Um, you could really go with this because your pet, you know, your, your mech is going to be tanking stuff. And you have, um, you know, pretty good options with just tankiness as a whole. Um, so I don't really, really need to worry about um, having anything survivability related just because I have some inherent, um, you know, defensive shit going on. So that always feels great, especially on Untamed. That feels amazing on Untamed. Um, but so yeah, like I said, all Berserker's gear. I have the... Uh, Relic of the Thief. I do really want that uh, Relic of the Series, I think it's called. And uh, that one looks fucking cool. I gotta do that strike mission, though, which I did I did join this training one. And it's practically the same thing as the story mode. I think there might be, like, a little bit of, like, a different priority with the, uh, you know, the, the Nightmare Dudes, whatever the fuck those guys are called. Um, but I did look up a guide beforehand, and it was it's basically just the same shit. I was, I was pretty surprised to see that. Um... But, uh, yeah, I do really want that one. And that one's the only one that looked cool to me, where it's like, whenever you're using the lead skill, you get da da da. You know, I, I hate that shit. But that one looked cool, because it actually, like, summoned, like, this rotating eye thing. I thought that was cool as fuck, um, that, it, that it does that. So I'm still trying to get that. But uh, in terms of the weapons here, we have the sword and then a shield. Um, you can, if you're looking to, like, pump out a little more damage, I think offhand pistol might be a decent option. Uh, but that is much more of a condi focused kind of weapon, and I don't really like it. I like the shield because I'm able to block with it. It feels kind of nice have, being able to do that, um, being able to use my, you know, my five skill here, and uh, 
you know, being able to like Captain America it after and throw it out and daze people, and a little knockback here as well. This one reflects projectiles, which is really fucking cool. And I, I mainly use that for CC purposes, um, but it can be nice on certain attacks that, that are projectiles. And uh, yeah, so I think that's basically it for this part, right? I mean, it, of course, you know, you got the rifle here, but uh, engineers, you all know. You can't swap weapons mid-combat, even if you're not running any kits, you know, because fuck it. Um, so, you know, that kind of sucks. But, uh, yeah, that's kind of the weapon setup I like going with. Like I said, also, mace and hammer are solid options here, too. Uh, as far as the build goes, this is going to be a pretty typical power mechanist kind of build. Um, so I have explosives, firearms, and mechanist here. Uh, so for explosives, I went with uh, short fuse for solo play. And then uh, Glass Cannon is really solid uh, for uh, group play. Or really just general play, I guess, in general. Because it's just it's nice just having that 10% uh, damage increase. I do have Aim Assisted Rocket here because um, none of my attacks here, I mean, as far as I know at least, right? None of them are explosions, right? So that's not going to proc uh, Explosive Temper at all. Um, your two attack does these projectiles. So yeah, that will account for Aim Assisted Rocket. Um, and a, a Blast Shield's a really solid one here to go with, too, because it raises your health up to 20k. Um, so that's also a really, really solid one. Um, so I might, you know what, fuck it, I'll go with that one. Um, uh, Big Boomer here is pretty much the obvious way to go as far as I know. I mean, um, you know, deal increase strike damage to foes of a lower health percentage. So, pretty cool. Pretty cool shit there. These other ones aren't really going to be too good. Uh, Firearms, we have High Caliber here. Um... These other ones suck, yeah. Uh, no scope is good too. Uh, modified ammunition is great for power. And as far as mechanist goes, I have the middle attack here because I like the melee attack. I actually think the Condi version might do a little more damage, um, but it isn't like too much of a difference. You know, what the hell? Uh, okay, let's go ahead and fight. Oh shit, that's not a leap. Forgot about that. Let's just get rid of this guy really quick. Jesus. Um. But uh, yeah, cause the thing is with Mechanist is that you want to be close to it because of the uh, you know the shit I was talking about earlier at the recharge and all that instead of the damage decrease like it was before. Um, so yeah, uh, got this going. It also passively just gives might around it, which is cool. It gives uh, quite a bit actually. I was kind of surprised to find out, uh, you know, when it first came out how much it gives. Um, the second row here uh, is uh, core reactor shot. This is a fantastic skill. The other ones aren't really going to be too good in comparison to this because your mech will get a greater percentage of your own precision stats. So that's always a nice one to have. And the third one is going to be Jade Dynamo uh, for the recharge reduction for the mech skills. And uh, yeah, the quickness is nice too, but that's the main thing is the uh, recharge reduction. Um, Jade Drive could be pretty good too uh, for the, uh, the Signet effectiveness. Uh, mainly though, the... Uh, passive skills being still there while you're on recharge right so i could use shift signet as a stun break and still be able to you know have the boons to my mech so that's that's a nice one uh but yeah that's the, the build for that and uh, as far as the skills go I, i'm just running all signets right now uh but uh, sometimes i do like putting on grenade kit for extra damage or you know maybe running um Fucking, what was that one? Proximity mine here, or the throw mine. That one's pretty fun to go with. Um, maybe an elixir here. Stun break elixir, maybe. Um, yeah, there's not really a whole lot of options, actually, on here uh, to go with. So, yeah, there's that. Um, which is, I'll just go ahead and show this thing off in action. It's a really easy and simple build. You just press a couple buttons, and that's it. It's really easy and fun to play with. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you, you, it has phenomenal burst damage because of your mech. Your mech does so much damage, it's fucking crazy. If only we had this kind of access on, uh, on Ranger, you know. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, as you can see here, like I said, just press a few buttons. For CC, you have your 4 and your 5. So, 4 here, knocks him away, and the 5 will do a daze. You have to press 5 again, though. Uh, and you can also make use of the block before you press it. Because it's a two-button press thing, so that's a nice thing to have. Uh, as far as other CC shit goes, you can sacrifice your four signet here uh, for a knockback. Uh, this, I don't know. I don't. I. This is like a very much like a like a last hope kind of thing 
first CC, I don't like activating this because, of course, you're going to be without that 10% damage bonus for 24 seconds, unless if you're running uh, J Drive. Um, I never use Shift Signet. I never use it because of the fact that um, it copies boons to your mech, which is a very important thing to have. Um, so I never use that. Barrier Signet, I don't ever really use this either, the active skill, um, because it's just, it, I don't know, it's not really too good, honestly. Um, at least as, you know, as far as this build goes, I'm sure you could probably make it better. Um, and then Overclock Signet, I like using the Buster Cannon, uh, to bust nuts on my enemies. Um, mainly just the high health ones. I'll use that because it's a pretty high damaging skill. It's, uh, you know, I wouldn't say it, like, nukes people, right? But it's, uh, you know, it's an ultimate skill, so it's gonna do a little more damage than, uh, you know, what a typical mech skill will do. So, yeah, we'll just show it off here. You can see here just the giant fucking laser beam. And uh, I, that CC is nice too, very very nice. As you can see, the the enemies in this game are very weird when it comes to focusing on your pet. Um, sometimes they will, sometimes they won't. So of course, make use of your dodge and defensive stuff. I mean, you have a shield too. And I got this for the block, and that was a projectile block. Fuck. Um, but yeah, that's that's the video, man. That is my favorite mech in this build and circuits. Uh, Secrets of the Obscure. It just, I don't know, I just love playing this. It just is really satisfying and fun to play. And uh, I'm just really happy now that I have a lot of options. You know, when I when I was looking at the Weapon Master training, um, I wasn't really too excited for it. This was the, the class I was most excited for, was the Engineer, because I have so much more options um, now, because I, I just enjoy all the Elite Spec weapons. That was an issue that I had with every other class is that there's always some sort of elite spec weapon that I didn't really like because it didn't fit the build that I like playing. Because I'm very much a power focused kind of guy. I don't really like Condi builds too much. Um, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's going to cover it. Peace.